With her bicycle in her hand, she swiftly walks to what she has identified as a window of opportunity. This woman is a resident of Kaumoya Camp Village, situated in Monze, Southern Province. She has joined her fellow small-scale farmers of the same area in attending this gathering set up by the Zambia Agribusiness and Trade Project ZATP. ZATP is in the area for the purpose of forming Productive Alliances, also known as PAS. The Productive Alliance model is an approach to strengthen the linkages among producers, buyers and the public sector through the provision of core inputs, productive investments, technical assistance and business development. PSZ is meant to support small-scale farmers and farmers that are just starting out, like this group, to access high-value markets that are not only stable but reliable too. The linkages will entail that small-scale farmers group themselves to work collectively to put their produce together in order to meet the demand of the high-value market. The meetings are comprised of the ZATP team with the Provincial Productive Alliance Advisory Committees PPACs, and partner government agencies that include the cooperative officers from both provincial and district officers and camp officers among others. Also in attendance are small-scale farmers who are the beneficiaries and large-scale farmers and representatives of the high-value market. Now, Kaumoya Camp Village is not the only location in which ZATP carried out such a meeting. The mission has set out to conduct meetings in selected rural areas of southern Lusaka, Copper Belt, Central and Eastern provinces. So far, the team from ZATP has been successful in conducting the meetings in Lusaka and southern provinces and a call for proposals has since been launched. The district meeting started off with Chongwe, then later moved on to Kafue in Lusaka province. In Kafue, which was the team's first stop, project manager Gloria Piri speaks to farmers as she explains what the project is about. Uh, there, has, there have been a lot of interesting um, contributions and questions that came from the video. So from the video we are saying this is the current situation. These are the problems that uh, most of you are going through. We have the middleman who, who has his own markups and he needs to make a profit. We have this information asymmetry. We don't know much about what's going on in the market, what are the prices. There are gaps in information. And we also have problems accessing our markets. So what we are saying is we are here to propose a new model, a new way of doing business a new way of approaching things. And what is this way? It's the alliance. And we are saying through the alliance, there are three ways in which we are trying to help address the problems that we saw in the video. There are issues of linkages to markets. And we are saying through the alliance, we will help to connect you to the different off-takers. Through the alliance, we are providing technical support, the coaching, the training, to build the capacity of the cooperatives. And through the alliance, we are trying to deal with the capital issues that I know that uh, most of us are facing. But then we are also saying it's about coming together, working together as a team, dealing with the issues. Most of us understand that for us to be able to supply maybe to game stores or shop price, it's about the quantity. So as an individual farmer, 
how are you going to manage to meet the quantity and supply consistently? So it's about coming together, bringing our resources together to be able to meet the requirements in the market. Chuma Sianga is a large-scale farmer that has managed to supply her stock to a high-value market. She is attending the meeting to guide the small-scale farmers on how best to handle a high-value market. Uh, spring onion and then to add a pepper. Check the other woman in your child. Alliance, they want to have a good distribution for the farmers. They want to supply a fresh mark to supply shop right. They wish to supply a whole of chicken pay through rose blooms. The children don't wish to encourage a good woman farmers. Not to put more how it can buy alliance for a whole of a lot you will just run. Find your passion. No After the meeting is concluded in Kafue, the team then travels to selected areas of southern province to conduct similar meetings. Among the areas visited, here is Choma, where the meeting has been held at community level. A number of farmers have taken time off their schedules to ensure that they are included in the gathering. Mwangala Liomba is Southern Province Permanent Secretary, and he says farming is an important aspect of economic growth. I wish to remind you that the project does not provide a social benefit scheme but seeks to increase the commercial production and value addition by qualifying producer groups on a competitive basis. It uses the matching grant window to assist producers to make the necessary investments that allow them to effectively participate in the market ZITP agribusiness specialist Lom Tunzijere addresses the farmers here. As she does, she emphasizes the importance of aggregating. So, uh, component 1A, building productive alliances. The objective of this component is to support small-scale emerging farmers integrate into value chains by improving their capacity to finance and execute productivity-enhancing investments and respond to the requirements of the end market. And the other component, 1B, the main service is Market Connect. So when you hear us talking about the project related to small and medium entrepreneurs, we will talk more about Market Connect than about Supplier Development Program, because our service, main service is Market Connect. Some members of the high-value market present have shared with farmers the benefits of forming alliances. Uh, when the news reached us to say farmers are being called, so that we can hear what they have to say and we can tell you our challenges as well. My company was excited in that we are having a challenge, especially on vegetable supplies. On tomato, we use about 70 kgs of tomato. We use about 30 kgs of green paper. We use about 60 kgs. That's on a weekly basis. At one time, we had this other farmer who gave in and said, are we able to supply at all? The first week, the tomato was good. The second week, the number reduced. I know I can only give you 40 kgs. The other week, no show. And the other challenge also we are having, there will be someone who will have good tomatoes, but you people are not registered. We like to deal with people who are registered. Register your cooperatives, like mom said. That way we deal with you properly. I think it was awesome that the 
Mas o Uba falou que ele prometeu, mas ele não disse, ou seja, mas a praia, não vai ser para não me usar mesmo. Balabu Tongozi, Wunji Wunji, Wamba Wunji, Ina Nihu, Vazambifi, Nava Bayas, Vasambala Mulomonini, Ubantu, Bana Zambia, Wamahua, Vapeva Mulo, Uriatu. Even to Patsy, she was the expecti, Vene Wunji, Kuhe Mugan Wolna Comprena. Pele Kubalu Hibo, Wubambe, Nau Pone, Wamombe. Kuhere kupona, amhere kubamba. Kupati hui mpana kulibo, haba magua, haba na zambia. Iti mwabita mwiki ili maano, kubambe, mbutu wamba ngombe, na upone, mbuhi pona ngombe. Ngombe hano, taigo meni kabotu. Mwanda kusambala, na kuli ha ngombe, mabayazi, mwotegwa, mwolo uliansi, haba uji, ngombe hano, ya mwiliwa taigo kabotu. I kampanya enda bruke tuwanji tuai diuti duna vanti na dana vanti. Ehe, this time is enda bruke and resources. So I think in southern province, of course, we operate throughout the country, apart from probably the northern part. But in the other one, the government is almost done. We operate from Ten Park up to Alfaras, Kazungula. This is the area that I cover. So within this area, we have different localities. Oh no, Gigi Tigashagoti. I think I am agani magoto because the agriculture I think is one of the risky businesses so far. In everywhere we go. Alimi magani atu botra nguti alagamu katu etan tomu nguti tuhiwe nguti we we farming is business we need to take agriculture as a business. I'm coming here from Lusaka. Currently we are operating in Lusaka and the Copper Belt. But when we got the invitation from Mr. Simamba, we said one Zambia one nation. Let's see what's happening in Southern Province, and we're trying to see the opportunities that are here. And we'd like to partner with the fish farmers. You know, fish is uh, a product that uh, goes by very quickly. So as we process it, uh, so that we lengthen the lifespan, or rather the, the life shelf of the fish. So we are smoking it, and we are trying to develop the drying. Uh, usually the fish on the market has got a lot of flies, and you know, recently we had uh, cholera. Uh, we don't know how that fish is actually processed. And that Lieni would like to give people the confidence that they can actually eat fish that is uh, processed under health conditions and uh, nutritional uh, value is retained. So from the Zambian aquaculture, fish farmers, the smaller ones, who want to identify with you as a small company. We know you have similar struggles that we have and would like to grow with you. With the project uh, by the government, I believe that we are going to grow. Currently, we are dealing with the big uh, fish um, sellers or the dealers, but would like also to support the smaller farmers. That's why we came. <laughs> Cooperative Ma cooperatives, tufuna ma cooperatives o sati ya jayamene ya gona, must be an active cooperative. So we are not looking for those cooperatives that are 
working towards producing for their own food. We are looking for those that are producing for the market. And how many of you have supplied their tomato to a big buyer? The big buyer like his pa in, in, uh, in Choma. And now the question is, if you are not selling to big buyers, where are you selling your products and at how much? So the alliance or the project under the Zambia Agribusiness and the Trade Project has come to help us to link ourselves up with big buyers as we have already learned. The next district level meeting is made in Monze at Monze Youth Project Center. And Monje District Commissioner Cyprian Hamunyanga is guest of honor at the meeting. And he says the project will truly revive the district's contribution towards economic growth. The project is being implemented through the Minister of Commerce trade and industry in cooperation with other relevant ministries and stakeholders. The project's overall objective is to contribute to increased market leakages and firm growth. This will be enhanced by leaking leak, leak small-scale emerging farmers and CMS to markets. Gilbert Vlahakis is Chief Executive Officer at Munzum Estates, which is a large-scale buyer of farm produce in Monze. As a representative of the high-value market, he says he is happy about PAS as it will increase the number of potential suppliers in nearby locations. <laughs> Tulose Mukonde Siafunda is a large scale buyer of soya beans and other farm products in the district. And she says the project has presented a great opportunity to enhance capacity building. But otherwise, it's a big opportunity for us to continue capacity building in this, uh, in this forum. The outreach team has now arrived at Kaumoya Camp Village in rural Monze. A dramatic sketch by Tieseko Africa depicting the benefits and importance of aggregating is presented for the purpose of ensuring that people have full understanding of the project's mission. <laughs> Project Kutegwa, 
No mubuga as cooperative pepe. Njoba yandaba. Yandiga? Eh. Yebo. 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 Mr. Keith Kanchea is Lusaka Province Regional Facilitator for the project and he gives a further explanation to the farmers in attendance on the ins and outs of PARS. Katandizo kanachua kuliwa niya government, it's a government project, but in atandizo nachua kuliwa World Bank. Niya wanatua sandarama as a loan. Tifuni kaise, tandizo ya mneza buwela muli iloni, tifuni kaise ma farmers, tankala very serious. So, ka project, ka kama tandiza ku two sides, ime kuma farmers, na wane tikamba tima small and medium enterprises. Tima ziwa azi farmers, mma nga na ma challenges yo siya na siya na siya na siya na siya kuli transport, kuli ndalama, tikamba ti finance. So, makamaka i project, chapita buwela kuona how kumuchita linki kuli ma markets. Monza District Agricultural Officer says the political will exhibited by the Zambian government to enrich the lives of small-scale farmers in the area must be appreciated. So, Tawa mudi riki tija mons, zeku district office, kutiwe nzuwe suava, watu swaya, watu etera magani mabo tute, agu tito sumpu, tito sumpuge. The final stop is made in Mazaboga Central Business District. Esnat Mwantembe from the Ministry of Commerce says government is establishing structures that will enable small-scale farmers create wealth for themselves to exhibit government concern for their welfare. Government is concerned about you, the farmers, and is putting in place structures that will help you um, get, create wealth and create jobs. Mazavuga District Commissioner Jenny Chirwa says this project will help achieve government agenda to diversify from copper dependence to dependence on the agricultural sector too. These outreach meetings that are scheduled to be held this week in our district are a continuation of similar ones held at provincial level earlier this year for our province. It was held in Livingston in March. Livingston was selected due to its position as the agribusiness hub of the province, Mazabuka, Choma, and Monze are the final three of the four operational districts of the project and were also selected based both on their poverty statistics but also on their agribusiness potential. ZATP, Southern Province Regional Facilitator, Habenzu Simamba, urges farmers to give their input on how best the project can be implemented. Jimbo Muri Chumagambati, Fishers of Wati, of Menai, so much different you go. We have tea, give you our Jana. Amuani Swangano, Munsangano, yes. Montella, you would take one to Mambi de Murumbe Oil. Wabani, Wabazambia Agribusiness and Trade Project, Winda, Muhi, Muyama Alliances. After concluding the meeting at the final stop, team members return to their respective areas, having in mind that the meetings must yield real results. With aggregating, the Zambia Agricultural Trade Project is assured that the lives of small-scale farmers will be financially enhanced. The initiative will not only enrich the lives of the farmers, but also contribute to the food basket of the country and help in the fight to alleviate poverty. Mm -hmm.